Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create interactive flowcharts uh, like this. This is an interactive flowchart. You can see it is showing us the steps in a particular research that I created. Okay, so this whole flowchart is was generated by an AI and it's very much applicable. Maybe during your presentation, you can add this to your presentation and to interactively be showing the steps or the process by which you are going to follow to accomplish a particular task. Okay, so this was created completely using ChatGPT and I'm going to show you the step by step on how to generate something like this. So depending, you can play around with it and you can vary the concept, the different content, even the coloration, the shapes, you can vary everything. And then you're going to have a much better or oh, a custom flowchart, interactive flowchart. So let's say we have our chat GPT over here and you can see I just gave it a prompt. Create a step-by-step -step process for a flowchart on a research about flood management in Nigeria using artificial intelligence. Now this is a step-by-step. -step. It started by highlighting and giving me about problem identification, research objectives, so literature review, data collection, data processing, pre-processing, model selection, and AI integration. These are sub-contents that it has added. So by attempts and model training and testing, model validation, prediction and visualization, risk assessment and recommendations and so on. And then I quickly generated a flowchart. This is a static flowchart. I asked it to give me the flowchart and you can see how it has given me a fantastic flowchart. Now this is downloadable. You can download this and even add it to your presentations as well. So very easy, ChatGPT generated this. You know, now it is very good with image creation. So after this, I gave it this prompt. From the above steps, create a blinking animated horizontal flowchart with the following specifications. Use a font similar to Arial Sans and center the flowchart on the page vertically and horizontally. Use green rounded rectangles. You can change this if you want to, if you want to, if you're interested. Like I said, you can change the coloration as well as the shape of the elements. Okay, for each step and with white text technology, you can change this as well if you're interested. Include arrows between steps and ensure the steps wrap when necessary to avoid a single long line. Implement a blinking animation that sequentially highlights each step, okay, from one step to another. Use HTML and CSS for the creating of the flowchart. Implement a JavaScript for the blinking animation. Make sure you provide me with the name of the file that I need to save us. So you can use this and I'll put this whole prompt in the description so you can have access to it and you can customize it to your liking. So after this, you can see it has given me the save the file as this and then this is the code that it has generated from this complete code. Now you have the option to on your own copy this code and run it. You can use any code, maybe one compiler. I've tried it with one compiler. This is the code it has given me. So this is the code that has been analyzed. And then from there, I ask it to give me a downloadable version of the code, okay? So that I can have the flowchart. Let me show you. Okay, the code creates a visually centered horizontal flowchart with green rounded rectangles, white text, arrows between steps, and blinking animation that highlights each step in sequence. So this is the code. It's been analyzed. Would you like a downloadable version of this file? I said yes. So now it has given me a downloadable version. That's analyzed the code. And then this is downloadable version. Once I click on it, it's what gives me this one. This is where it opens. And this is the final step. Now, if you want to, you can customize this, like I said, to anything. Change the coloration. Use variable shapes and change even the text color and so on. And even the arrow color, you can change it as well. And the type. Okay, so on your own also, you can run this manually. For example, you can copy the code that has been given. This is written in HTML. So you can use any of the compilers that you know. For example, I have this one compiler that I've been using. Uh, one compiler, it has a lot of different programs. Okay, the program language you can select. But for this, let's go with HTML. And when you select HTML, you can select everything here, delete, and then you can replace it with the code you copied from ChatGPT. And once you come over here and click on run, this is going to show you the same process for the same flowchart, you know, that we've just generated. Same thing, but you can play around with the sizing so you can see the flow completely. So that is it. You can generate it on your own manually, or if you want, you can as well ask, run everything within ChatGPT. 
NFT. And the good side of this is that you can easily download it. You can download this to your computer free of charge and you can start using it. So it all boils down to you what you want to create and however you want to create it. But then let's try to vary something from here and let's see how it is going to behave. So for example, let's copy this and then let's paste this. So let's say use gradient colors okay and rounded rectangles with various shapes okay for each of these steps and white text and so on so you can use this and then we can just go ahead and hit on enter and this is going to give us the code that we need and probably we can run it in one compiler as well if you're interested so this is how fast this can be and how wonderful this charge bt can be in terms of creating these interactive flow charts So you can see it is analyzing and then probably it is going to give us the downloadable file. Okay, so once we just click, it is just going to download it for us. All right, so you're blinking. This is the file. So click to download. And once we click, it is going to open it. Okay, so you can see it. And I think this is very much better than the other one. This is very, very interesting because we have variable coloration, gradient coloration and variable shapes. I think this one looks much better. So just please feel free to go through it and then see how you can use this to your own advantage. You can vary the content and then you can use it also for your own liking. And you can run it also equally on the one compiler and you will have nearly the same result uh, as regards this. So this concludes this basic tutorial about the use of ChatGPT to create interactive flow chat for your liking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.